Hello, friends, family, and whoever else you are checking in. I want to share with you some thoughts as I go through an upcoming uh, cancer journey. Uh, and the reason I want to do that is I think it's an excellent uh, opportunity for us to discuss cancer and mortality and all the issues that surround it in the context of our faith. Now, I don't claim to have all the answers. I don't claim to know everything about this. There are millions of people who suffer from cancer in one form or another. But it just seemed like this would be a really good opportunity given my situation to walk all of us through some of these issues that we can talk about them together and grow in our faith together. I'm calling it, great title here, and a great uh, little uh, picture, Brad's Cancer Corner. Now that is some high quality graphics right there. Uh, and just to catch you up, for those who don't know, I have been diagnosed with a cancerous tumor on my pancreas. Uh, we're in the process of treating that, uh, possibly through surgery, certainly through chemotherapy, and we'll just kind of uh, go from there. We'll certainly keep you updated uh, on the situation. But as you look at this, you may have noticed something interesting about me, and in that just in the last couple of months, and this started really in September, but just in the last couple of months, I'm looking a little more drawn, a little older. Um, here's a picture of me uh, taken not too long ago. Uh, looks kind of the same as what you're seeing right now in this video. But compare that to a picture uh, I had taken a year or so ago. Uh, and you can just see the dramatic difference. I am not the picture of robust health as I was in that picture. And by the way, uh, the other person in that picture, my very, very dear friend, Robert Royce, uh, love him to death and uh, always glad to be able to spend time with him. But anyway, all of this is to remind us of what the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 4, 16, that we are daily wasting away. The outer man is wasting away, but inwardly we are being renewed by the Word and by the Spirit. And that's important for a lot of reasons. That just doesn't include people who are going through cancer or possibly facing mortality. It includes all of us. All of us are wasting away day by day, some faster than others. When you think about it, it's almost like winding a clock, that as soon as you're born, you begin to die. The clock starts ticking. And for some it will run out soon. For others, it will not run out for a long time. But the point is, we must all face our mortality. We must all face this idea of our impending physical death, whether that's a short time from now or a long time from now. And the reason I encourage you to think about that is, now is the time for all of us to be renewing ourselves inwardly through the Spirit, through the Word, and by growing our faith in Jesus Christ. Do not put it off. We should not be putting it off, thinking it's way down the line somewhere. I was in the pink of health just a few months ago, and now my health obviously is very uncertain. But I, through the course of the last several years, have been trying to build a faith relationship and share the gospel and share the love of Jesus with others. And so I am prepared to face my mortality. I am prepared for that day when the outer man will completely waste away and will be put into the ground. And my spirit will then ascend into the presence of God in heaven. I am not afraid of physical death. I am not afraid of dying because of my inward self being renewed day by day because I know what comes after that. We'll talk more about this as we go forward in these series. I don't know how often I'll do them. just kind of depends on my health and other situations. But I'll leave you, since this is kind of a somber topic, I'll leave you with a great joke I heard from Woody Allen, uh, who said, I am not afraid of death. I just don't want to be there when it happens. I think we can all understand that. Until next time, this is Brad from Brad's Cancer Corner.